Hi, my name is Gregory and I will be the one showing you around in your brain. I'm a neurocognitive and behavioral expert, as well as the former director of the Institute of Neurocognitivism. But don't worry, this is not about dry theories and complex scientific explanations. You see, I'm much more a communicator than a scientist myself. Consider this like a guided tour, but only better, as I will give you the keys to get the best out of your brain. No, I'm not talking about memory or speed reading or stuff like that. I'm talking about understanding why we behave the way we do. Yes, why we do the things we do the way we do them. And then, once we understand the mechanisms at hand, influence them, not only with ourselves, but with others as well. That's what we're going to see in this course. Understanding how our brains work and using that knowledge to influence it. So you're about to embark in the course on the NBA, the Neurocognitive and Behavioral Approach. It's a fantastic voyage that's about to start, you'll see. If you Google Neurocognitive and Behavioral Approach, you won't find much information on it. The reason for this is actually simple. The NBA has its origins in France and is called ANC, L'Approche Neurocognitive et Comportementale. Now when you Google that, you'll find loads of information. Unfortunately, the vast majority of it is obviously in French. So that's where I come in. As I said, I have been the director of the Institute of Neurocognitivism, which task is to spread the NBA for several years. So I worked directly with the founders of the NBA, Dr. Jacques Fradin and his colleagues, and became an expert in his approach. In 2014, I created Human Dimension and decided to take the NBA one step further by elevating its reach from a regional scope to a worldwide reach, by translating the work of Jacques Fradin into English and make it accessible to everyone. By the end of 2014, the first course got online. Since then, over 10,000 people in more than 140 countries have joined these courses on the NBA. Still, personally, I won't rest before reaching at least 100,000, and then 1 million, and even more. And there's a simple reason for that. The NBA, through its understanding of how our brain works and its impact on our behavior, has a major impact on how we see ourselves and others. It helps us be at peace with ourselves and be more tolerant towards others. In other words, well, actually, it makes the world a better place to live in. Now, what's so specific about the NBA is that it doesn't focus on the content of situations. Rather, it looks at what part of the brain is active when we say things, when we behave in a certain way. From there onwards, we will be taking actions, communicating in a certain way to alter that if need be. Basically, we focus on causes rather than symptoms. It's like having a fever. We take medicine to get rid of the fever. However, the fever is there for a reason. And that reason is the real cause. It's exactly the same with the NBA. When we act in a certain way, that is a symptom. Now, the cause lies in, a, in our brain because a specific part of our brain is active. Now, we can change that. We can change that with ourselves and with others. And that's where the NBA becomes truly powerful. So in this course, Master Your Brain, we will have a look at the four different structures that are responsible for over 10,000 decisions a day. You can look at these four brain structures as four pilots in a car with only one steering wheel. At any given time, there's only one of the four who can drive the car, the car being us. Now, the others, the other parts of the brain, can influence the driver, but they are not the one driving. However, at any given time, the driver can freely pass the steering wheel to one of the others, another brain searcher, thus changing the outcome of our actions and decisions. We will go over the reptilian brain and its survival instincts. We will see how the paleolimbic brain is responsible for our self-confidence and trust in others. And with the neolimbic brain, we will be diving into the core of who we are our personalities and motivations, and finally, we'll cover that pinnacle of evolution, our prefrontal brain, which makes us unique in the animal kingdom, which makes us human. We will dive deep into the four brain structures, the four decision-making powers, competing over who will have the final say. Now, this is your opportunity to gain control over your brain and take matters into your own hands. Welcome to Master Your Brain.